hello everyone welcome back for another tutorial in today's video we are going to be doing this mermaid bikini uh, top if you are on if you follow me on instagram you've seen it before in this kind of design a crop top i've done it in different sizes uh, but for this tutorial i'll be doing a size extra small which is right this size here and if you're interested in the sh in the shorts i have a tutorial i will leave a link in the comments but also i'll be doing uh, a crop top later in another video using this uh, bra cup so stay tuned for that but for now let's get into the tutorial so for this tutorial you'll need a tape measure uh, you for the yarn you're going to use medium weight yarn i use this brand it's a german brand um, it is uh, 133 meters i used about half of this 50 grams i used about half of this and a 3.5 millimeter hook that is recommended yeah so for the hook size this is what i'll be using 3.5 millimeter hook okay all right so to start we are going to make an identical bra cup like this one i already have mine that this one and uh yeah this is how it looks it has this cuff okay it's more like of a mermaid it has mermaid vibes and all so we are going to start on making that so get your yarn and make a slip knot for my size which is an extra small i'm going to chain 13 chains okay 13 chains so chain enough to you know from your your side boob how high you want it to be on your side boob i want mine to be three inches long you can make it longer or shorter depending on how much coverage you want so i have my 13 chains and this is an equivalent of uh, three inches okay so we are going to be using uh, single crochets for this pattern only in the back loop so you are going to skip that very first stitch go into the next stitch and make a single crochet so skip one going to the next and make a single crochet like this go into your next stitch make another single crochet into the next make your third single crochet and i'm going to insert one single crochet in every chain until i get to the beginning and i will have a total of 12 single crochets so i'll have 12 single crochets for this So you can make it longer if you wish just you know measure yourself from the bottom of your boob to where you want it to reach that's at the side okay so this is what i have and now we're going to go to row two so for the first rows will be increasing get to the top and then start decreasing so chain one turn your work and right here in this first stitch you see you don't go into the two loops but you go into only the back loop we are only working in the back loop so go into the back loop of that very first stitch make a single crochet and into that very same stitch make your second single crochet so we made an increase at the beginning of our second row okay so now you're going to go into the next stitch make a single crochet and you will go into every stitch with one single crochet until you get to the end and once i'm at the bottom i should have a total number of 13 single crochets my row one was 12 my row two is 13 single crochets we are working only in the back loop so yeah that's my last stitch that's my 13th stitch right so for a three you are now going to chain one turn your work and at the bottom it is straight okay so it is straight so now i only insert one single crochet in that first stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch until i get to the top 
so once i get to the top that's where i will make an increase so at the bottom it is flat it only in increases at the top So it is going to be one single crochet in every stitch. Once I get to the top, I should have 13 stitches and then I will increase with one to make it 14. All right, so this is my last stitch, which is the 13th. And now I make an increase into that very same stitch. I insert another stitch to make it 14 stitches. So I made an increase there. So it's 12 13 14 now for a 4 it will be 15 so in that very first stitch we are going to make two single crochets that's one and that's two okay so now i go on and insert one single crochet in each stitch going downwards and yeah basically this is going to be our pattern so we'll be increasing until i'm going to do this at the bottom it's flat it only increases at the top and i'm going to do this until i have a total number of uh, 11 rows 11 rows so my bracket is a total number of 22 if you're making a size small make it 24 if you're making a medium 20 uh, sorry 30 and then a big is 34 so I have my 11 rows so one side is 11 rows the other side is 11 rows and that makes it a total number of 22 rows so these are my measurements so far okay this is my measurement so far so I have 11 rows right so my 12th row is going to be the same size as my 11th row 10 and 11 so my 12th row I'm not making any increase I'm not making any decrease that is your topmost row those two rows 11 and 12 are my topmost rows and they are the same uh, height no no increase on the 12th okay so this is how it looks i'm going to go down then come back up and once you come back up remain with two stitches uh, i'll meet you to show you how to make the decrease so i went down uh, went downwards and then came back up and I'm left with two stitches so we're going to make a decrease so you're going to skip this second last one and go right into the last stitch and make a single crochet so chain one turn your work skip the first stitch going to the second one and make a single crochet to make that decrease so yeah skip one going to the next make a decrease so now from, more, from now on, go into every stage with one single crochet until you get to the bottom. So you're going to be making a decrease when you're ending the row and when you're starting the row. That's at the top. Okay, so keep the bottom flat. So you're going to go down until you have the same number of stitches as your first one or the same number of rows. And mine will be 22 rows in total. Okay, I'll meet you once you have your brack up so that we can uh, do the bottom. It should look like this once you're done and I'll show you how to do the bottom once you're done. Alright, so I'm done with my brack up. This is how it looks like. I have 22 uh, total number of rows and now we are going to do the bottom. Yours should look something like this too. So let's do the bottom. So we're going to be working in the ridges, the bottom ridges um, with single crochets. So right here in these ridges is going is where we are going to be working. So chain one and yeah, in between here, we are going to insert a single crochet in that very first ridge. And then go into the next ridge, insert a single crochet, a single crochet in between the ridges, the low ridges. 
and yeah insert one single crochet in every low ridge until you get to the end of this up. so it's like we're making a decrease we're not putting a, a single crochet in every row but in every after two rows and then it makes that you know curve that makes it more of you know like a bracca yeah this is what I have this is how it looks so we are now going to work the shells so you're going to chain chain one uh, chain one turn your work and we're going to be using double crochets for this part so you're going to skip the first two stitches so yarn over skip the first two stitches and into the third stitch you will make a double crochet into that very same stitch make your second double crochet your third double crochet and your fourth double crochet then you'll chain one and into that very same stitch make more four double crochets so four double crochets and we're done with the first shell so you are going to skip uh, two stitches and into the third stitch make a slip stitch then you're going to skip two and into the third stitch make another shell like this by inserting four double crochets in one stitch then chain one and then another four double crochets in that very same stitch And then you'll slip stitch in the last one so this is how it looks if you have more rows then you could probably make three shells or more but uh, for this size it's just two shells so slip stitch okay this is it so you're going to go ahead chain one cut off your yarn and do another bra cup as for me i had not done the shells on this one so i'll go ahead and put shells on my other bra cup and yeah you have your bra cup so i'll come show you once i've done my other shells and we'll do the straps so go ahead and do your other bra up too so i'm done and uh, now i want to put the top strap so we're going to put on the highest uh, row which is row 11 and row 12 in between there that's when where i'm going to do my strap and this is how i do it just reattach your yarn and you know I'm going to chain enough to tie around my neck if you want something you know uh, stronger a stronger strap so you can come down on it with uh, down the chain with a slip stitch okay so I'm done I did two or both straps now I do the the one at the bottom the strap at the bottom so I'm just going to make a very long chain that goes around my waist and also able to go around my side uh, my side boob because there's an X that goes at the back so make a long one like this this is what I made and now join them together
So once you're done with this side, uh, join the other bra cup. So it's adjustable. Um, this design is adjustable like this. You can pull it together or pull it up, you know, apart, uh, depending on how you want your coverage to be. Yeah, so join the other side. Uh, same way, just, you know, passing in through the chain. In and out. Like this. Yeah, and that's it. Should be good to go like this, uh, but I went ahead and put a string um, right here. This is about 1.5 inches just to, you know, make it firm. Uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and do that too. And you have your bikini bra cup, so you can always, you know, put the strings right here, through here, once you wear it, so that, you know, it's um, firm, just with a crisscross when you wear it, and then just tie at the back, yeah, so, yeah, I hope you like it, this is easy, should be done within a few minutes, or less than an hour, it should have this, and yeah, so I'll be making a top next, if you're interested, uh, check out my next video, so thank you so much for watching, uh, please share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in my next video, bye!